Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have a problem that when you first read it, you sit there and go, I have no idea where to start. But when you see the trick on how to solve it, you go, why didn't I think of that? Well, let's see what the problem asks for. It deals with vector addition. It says in an octagon, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H of equal sides, and I guess I should put a, an S there. What is the sum of the vector from A to B, plus from A to C, from A to D, from A to E, all the way from A to H, if from A to the origin, if that's in the middle of the uh, octagon, that is equal to 2i plus 3j minus 4k. When you read this, you realize we're dealing with a three-dimensional object. It's not just in a plane, it's in three dimensions, angled in some way, in such way that the vector drawn from A to the origin is equal to this. It has three components in the X, Y, and Z directions. They give us four possible answers. Notice all the numbers are the same, just the signs are different. How do you go about doing that? Well, let me show you what they're actually asking us to do. So they're saying draw the vector from A to B, that's this vector right here. Then have a vector from A to C, from A to D, from A to E, from A to F, from A to G, and from A to H, and then add them together. And you only know this vector. This is the only vector that you know that you were given from A to O, this vector right here, is the only known vector. So how do you go about doing that? Until you begin to realize that, wait a minute, I can represent the vector from A to B as a vector from A to O added to a vector from O to B. And then I can represent the vector from A to C as a vector from A to O and a vector from O to C. And then I can take the vector from A to D and represent it from A to O and then from O to D. And then you realize, okay, if I then add up all vectors and know there's the seven of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, that means that this sum, right, from A to B plus all the way to A to H, that is equal to seven times the vector from A to O, plus that we have the vector from O to B, plus O to C, plus all the way to O to H. All right, so now we realize that the sum of those seven vectors can be represented as seven times this, and of course we have this, we simply multiply times seven, and I add up those seven vectors. But wait a minute. I have another idea. Notice that if we have vectors around like this, and you add them all up, they're all going to cancel if there's eight of them. If you have a vector point to every direction. So you have this vector, you have this vector, this vector, this vector, but you also need this vector. If you have eight vectors like this and you add them together, they add up to zero. So that means if I then add, plus the vector from O to A on the right side. Well, of course, if I add that to the right side, I have to add that to the left side. So, uh, let's see here. Let me see here. Yes. Uh, oh, okay, no. I misspoke on this one. Notice if I add this vector, but then I add this vector on top of that, these two vectors added together add up to zero because that's the negative of this vector. But if I then look at these vectors right here like this, I now have eight of them. Those add up to zero. Now I have seven AOs plus another AO. So that means that this is equal to eight times the vector from A to O. And all I have to do is multiply that times eight. So this is equal to eight times 2i plus 3j minus 4k and so that's equal to 16i plus 24j minus 32k and then if you look at your possible answers looks like answer a is the correct one
So it's all about realizing that there's no way that I was going to solve this, but each of those vectors can be represented by a vector from A to O and then from O to B, A to O, O to C, A to O, O to D, and so forth, all the way around. Notice we only have seven of those. If I then add an eight one and add all those eight together, I get zero. So I need to add an OA, but then I also have to add an AO to negate adding this one. So I have eight of those that add up to zero, and then seven plus one give me eight AOs that adds up to this. And that is how it's done. Pretty tricky, huh? Why don't you just literally look at it, saying that the, the arrow pointing to B would cancel the arrow pointing to F, and then you just cancel everything else except for the extra one that points to E. Right. You can also look at all the opposing vectors. They're all going to cancel each other out, but you still need this extra one here to cancel these two out. So when you add that, you have to also add the negative of it, and it gets added to that. You don't even have to think of it that. You just say everything else cancels off except for the extra one. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to pipe down the OB, the OC, and the OH. Right, but I, I kind of wrote it down so you can visually see it. Well, you yeah. can visually see it on the picture. Yes. That is true. So in essence, what you're saying here is that, hey, I have a green color here. So you know that all those cancel out except for this one. So you add another one to cancel it out, which means you need an eight one right here. So now you have eight times the vector OA. OA. Yep. That's the quick way to do it. I like it. <laughs>